all today i would be discussing sign sample paper with you and changes with you in the next 2020 board so here we have science paper it is actually given by cbsc sign sample paper so the first change is that here the question paper comprises of three section a b and c in a section we have mcq based very short answer type question and assertion reason type question. They have to be answered in either one word or in one sentence. And in section B, you have three marks questions. In that, you have to write at least 50 to 60 words. In section C, you have to write, you, uh, they are of five marks and they should be answered between 80 to 90 words each. And in total, in the paper, you will have 30 questions and you have to answer in three hours and the maximum marks will be 80. So let's start with section A first. So in that first question says name a device that helps to maintain a potential difference across a conductor. So the answer for this is electric cell or a battery. Either you can write electric cell or electric battery. Question number two says what change in color is absorbed when white silver chloride is left exposed to sunlight? What type of chemical reaction is this? So in this case, when silver chloride is left exposed to sunlight, then we get silver. Or the color is gray. So white silver is gets white color gets converted into gray. And the next question is, what type of chemical reaction is this? So the type is photo decomposition. Don't write decomposition, that won't fetch you marks. If you want to fetch marks, you have to write complete and it is photo decomposition. Now, the next is, is actually a change in this question paper is that we have a paragraph based question paper. So in question number three, you have a paragraph where you have to answer question based on them. Like this, you have four questions based on this paragraph only. So you have to see, you have to read this paragraph first and then you have to write answer for the given. So in this, let's read this paragraph first. So it says the ciliary muscles of eye control the curvature of the lens in the eye and hence can alter the effective focal length of the system. When the muscles are fully relaxed, the focal length is maximum. So, so you can do, what you can do is mark the important point here and there. Then you have to proceed. When the muscles are straightened, the curvature of lens increases and focal length decreases. For a clear vision, the image must be on retina. The image distance is therefore fixed for clear vision and it equals the distance of retina from eye lens. It is about 2.5 cm for a grown up person. A person can theoretically have clear vision of objects situated at any large distance from the eye. The small distance at which a person can clearly see is related to minimum possible focal length. The ciliary muscles are most trained in this position. For an average grown-up person, minimum distance of object should be around 25 cm. A person suffering from eye defects uses spectacles, eyeglass. The function of lens of spectacle is to form the image of the object within the range in, what, in which person can see clearly. The image of spectacle lens becomes object for eye lens, whose image is formed on retina. The number of spectacle lens used for the remedy of eye defects Defect is decided by the power of lens required. The number of spectacle lens is equal to numerical value of the power of lens with size. For example, power of lens required is 3 plus 3D diopter. Converging lens of focal length 100 over 3 cm. Then the number of lens will be plus 3. Now we have to answer questions related to this paragraph. So let's start with it. First one, what do you mean by the ciliary muscles? So in the first line of this paragraph, we have answer for this. Here it says the ciliary muscles 
are used to change in the focal length of eye lens by changing radii of curvature is known as ciliary muscles. So you can write your answer, you can alter the answer from the given part and you can write the answer. So you can write the answer here. So it is, I am repeating that. The muscles which are used to change, change in the focal length of eye lens by changing radii of curvature. If we change the radii of curvature, then the ciliary muscles adjust themselves according to the need. So that's all for first part. The second part, what is the minimum, fo minimal, minimum focal length of eye lens of a normal person? So here we have answer for it. It is 25 centimeter. Next is, what is the maximum focal length of eye lens of a normal person. So here we have the answer again. It is 2.5 cm. For a clear vision, it is maximum focal length. So it will be 2.5 cm. Now, the next one says, a near-sighted man can clearly see objects are only up to a distance of 100 cm, not beyond this. What is the number of spectacles lengths necessary for the remedy of this defect? So here we need to find the power. So let's find it out. In this case, as it is a nearsightedness, so it will be u equals minus infinity and v here given to us is distance of 100 centimeter. That means minus 100 and we would be using the lens formula. It is 1f, 1v, minus 1u, putting all the values. Now 1 by infinity as you know is 0. So it is only minus 1 by 100. So 1 by f. f in this case will be minus 100 centimeter. And if we need to find power, it should be in meter. So it will be minus 1 meter. And the power in this case will be 1 by f. And 1 by f is 1 over f minus 1 so the final answer is 1 diopter the power for this is 1 diopter moving on to the second one question number 4 so here we have some study related to tables now you are given with some tables and you have to answer questions based on this table only so we are given with table a table b so let's read question number one. It says in the table B, at which time patient Y have ideal normal blood pressure? So ideal normal blood pressure is 120, 80. Upper number should be 120 and the lower number should be 80. And in this case, what do you think when the patient have ideal condition? So you can see it is 80, 120 at afternoon so you have to write here at afternoon now moving on to the second part it says identify the patient which have hyper hypertension stage 1 blood pressure which which patient have hyper hypertension stage 1 blood pressure so as you can see Hypertension is at stage 1, is at 130, 139 and 80, 90. So 130, 139. As you can see, in evening, the patient has, patient X has 82 to 132. And the normal, you can see it is, the range is of 130, 139 and 80, 90. So 82 exists between 80-90 and 132 exists between 130-139. So that means patient X in evening. Then which diet is the best for high blood pressure patient? So if you know high blood pressure, high blood pressure patient must take Grain and fruits. 
they should not take high fat dairy products they should not take large amount of sodium and diet so a is the right answer in fourth part the ideal blood pressure measurement is it is 80 to 120 mm hg moving on to question number five so question five is based on physics and it says length of a wire is doubled by what factor does the resistance change so as you know r is proportional to length Length, length of a wire is doubled by what factor does the resistance change so it will be twice as four times as large twice as large unchanged half as large so it will be twice of L so it will be twice as large in the second part or part if a student while studying the dependence of current on the potential difference keeps the circuit closed for a long time to measure the current and potential difference then emitter zero error will change emitter will give more reading that's a big no that's a big no voltmeter will show constantly higher readings no then it says resistor will get heated up and its value will change yes as it says that keeps the circuit closed that means the current is in the circuit and there will be some heating up as you know that heat is directly proportional to current if the current is there that means heat will go up so the resistor will get, get heated up and its value will change moving on to question number six it says a small electric lamp is placed at the focus of convex lamps convex lens when the lamp is switched on the lens will produce converging beam of light parallel beam of light diverging beam of light diffuse beam of light so we have a small electric lamp is placed focused at convex lens we have a convex lens here as you know that convex lens form converging beam of light but in this case we have a lamp which is switched on and all the rays are going towards it the lens in in as a result will form parallel beam of light from the converge, converging lens we will have parallel beam of light produced Moving on to question number 7, before setting up an experiment to show that seeds release carbon dioxide during respiration, the sh seeds should be dried completely, boiled to make them soft, soaked in vinegar, keep moist till they germinate. So right answer in this case is keep moist till they germinate. Moving on to question number 8, a well stained leaf peel mount when absorbed under the High power of a microscope shows nuclei in guard cells only, epidermal cells only, guard cells and epidermal cells, guard cells, epidermal cells, and stomata. So when we keep a well stained leaf pea mount, we get to we get to have guard cells and epidermal cells under high power of microscope during germination of seed water enter in seeds through helium micropyle raphe cotyledon so the right answer in this case is micropyle moving on to question number nine we have a reaction here we need to tell which example is of so as you can see we have aluminium we have iron oxide here so aluminium is actually displacing this Fe. So this is actually the simple displacement reaction. D part is the right answer. Now next one says ethanoic acid was added to sodium bicarbonate solution and the gas evolved was tested with a burning splinter. Which one of the following four 
observation is correct. Gas burns with the pop sound. Fl flame gets extinguished. The gas does not burn with, but the splinter burns with the pop sound. The flame extinguishes and the gas does not burn. As it forms carbon dioxide, so flame extinguishes and the gas does not burn here. Moving on to question number 11, it says a colorless sample was tested with a strip of pH paper. The color of strip changed to green. The sample should be. It is being converted into green. That means the color is actually a neutral one. So if the strip is in green, that means it is a neutral one. And if it is a neutral one, that means the distilled water should be the answer for this because tap water can't be sodium hydroxide is a base lemon juice is a acidic one so green is the right answer green for green it should be a distilled water moving on to question number 12 we have three vehicles abc in a we have zinc sulfate in b we have silver nitrate in C, we have iron sulfate. So, copper pieces are added to each beaker. Blue color will appear in case of. In which we have copper sulfate. So, in silver nitrate, when we add, in when we add silver nitrate to copper pieces, so silver will actually displays copper here so we will get copper nitrate and blue color will appear in case of beaker B or part it says a student puts one big iron nail in four test tubes containing solution of zinc sulfate aluminium sulfate copper sulfate and iron sulfate a reddish brown coating was absorbed on only on the surface of iron nail which was put in the solution of so we get a reddish brown color reddish brown color could be only on copper sulfate so the right answer is c part moving on to coach number 13 and 14 they are based on research and research so here we have first part it says respiration in living beings is called exothermic reaction and in the second part, it says respiration in living beings involves with absorption of heat energy. So as you can see, A is true. And respiration in living beings involves with absorption of heat energy. That's false. So first one is true. Assertion is true. And reason is false. That means C part. Moving on to question number 14, it says copper is used to make hot water tanks and not steel. Copper is a better conductor of heat than steel and it is fairly resistant to corrosion than steel. So copper is used to make water tanks and not steel. It is true, the first one. Copper is yes, better, than, better conductor of heat than steel. That's true again. And in this case, I think that this is actually the right explanation to this. So the right answer for this is A part as both A and R, A and R are true and R is correct explanation of assertion. It should be correct, ex correct, then only you have to choose A. If it is not a correct explanation to assertion, then you have to choose B part. But in this case, it is A. So that's all for section A. I will cover section B in second part.